please ignore the founding father's hair that I have going. Hi, I'm Rai. I'm back with another voiceover from one of my lessons because it is the only video I have time to make anymore. That was your daily dose of ASMR. You are welcome. Anyway, I have like a vlog filmed of when we went to pick up our rescue pony and then I'm also going to a show this week so I'm going to edit that vlog on the way to the show if Caroline actually drives a little bit. Obviously I'll be vlogging at the show so there's two vlogs coming at some point. Someday. Not today. Okay, here's my, my lesson from like two weeks ago. So these are just our warm-up jumps, we're just figurating this white one and then the red one. And this one was fine. It was fine. It was acceptable. I pulled a little too much for that lead change, I should have just balanced. I don't know why I like ripped on his face, that's embarrassing. And then this one was a little tight, because I got ahead, because I'm dumb. When I don't see something, I always just like lean forward and just like hope that my horse finds something and that's probably not a good tactic it's definitely not a good one that was cute again that was fine that was a better lead change la -dee da okay we fixed that one that was really ugly see I did it again I got ahead and then he was off balance so he didn't get the change why am I the way that I am I do not know and then here I go again. That was fine, because guess what? I sat back and waited for it. And then we're doing something else, actually, now. We're just starting with the same white one. Mm, not cute, Ryan. Why? Why? Today was a really hard lesson, because my horse, like, Beckham was really quiet on this day. That was fine. He was really quiet, and it's really hard for me to find spots on him when he's quiet, because he normally, like, bids it jumps, like, three strides out which is what I'm used to on him, and he's not doing that anymore because we kind of fixed that. So when he's quiet, it's really hard for me. But that bending was cute. For this course, I would simply like you to listen to my trainer's commentary because this course was a disaster, and it was so bad. I can't even watch it again. Just listen to my trainer. A video on Ryan's phone. <laughs> just, give, just give up on that jump. Yep. Now keep that canner, keep coming. Yep, that's okay. You're getting a little sh shoulder forward. Look for your trot jump. Shoulder back. Keep coming, just keep coming. You'll sort it out. There it is, you just needed a little more rhythm. Keep coming, just like this. There, perfect. Now regroup, bring them together a little bit and now take a breath and keep this canter though. Yep, that was correct. <laughs> so this time we went through the same course again. This one was much better though. And we got that first jump okay. But the lead change didn't happen okay. So I don't know what that was. And then this one was a little short. But I didn't lean forward that time. So I was happy with that. And here we come. We're just, just going, I guess. It's cute. Cute little move up moment. Alright, I can work with that. And then our trot jump. Trot jumps are not Beckham's strong suit. They are my strong suit. I love a good trot jump, but Beckham does not. So he kind of gets excited. He says, mm, we're not trotting. And I said, mm, yeah, we are. That's what that little head toss was. And then I struggled to kind of get my pace back after trot jumps, though. So this is what that was. And then I kind of wish I had gone a little straighter in that turn. I feel like, I mean, like, at a show I would have done a rollback like that, but I don't think that was necessary here. 
towards this jump he gets really excited and then I pull him back without legs so that's why we have that weird little spot there and then we come up the blue line again fingers crossed I can get it probably not okay cute yeah no I knew it wasn't gonna happen here we're doing another course I think mm -hmm. down paddle wheel here hmm shocking weird little chippy spot and then we go up this outside line instead of bending we just do like the normal line I prefer bendings that I can work with that was cute and then I do that so not cute my trainer made me come around and do this line all over again because that was ugly obviously for me like lines are so hard I feel like I need to ride it once before I can actually get the right strides because the second time around it was perfect so I don't know there's a plane flying over my house right now and then where do we go why did I almost turn there that was awkward then we come down this one which he got excited to again but that was the best spot we found to it all day I think because I kept a leg on that time and then we go up the blue line again I hate the blue line but the spot in was really cute that was a really good move up but then I didn't study enough and then I studied too late and then it was just kind of awkward not too bad though but then I just asked if I could keep going through this line to fix it and that was obviously not fixing it I just have a really hard time with lines like I feel like I never know if I should study or push like for some reason I just can never see a spot to the second jump of a line like I think because I think too much about it before I'm there I don't know that was cute cute little move up but then I woed way too much so we had an awkward long one out because Beckham was like this is a five and I was like mm, we can make it six and he said I have had enough of your adding strides you are annoying me and I get it he's not wrong that was cute cute move up good pace there keep going go Ryan yeah there you go I got it I did it and then I quit after that because I was a little nervous after that anyway um okay bye